It was 2017. Um, I just got done with football season and was moving into basketball season. Um, I, I played like a lot of sports in high school. And during this time, uh, my dad, he, he was a uh, real estate guy. Uh, he was in the real estate industry. Um, also did like oil field stuff in this town and it's called Midland, Texas. Um, but he gave me this book. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I always hated reading, never a fan of reading. Oh, like always, I read like Magic Tree. How, like, did y'all ever have those AR points where you had to like get a certain score on this test in order to get a certain amount of points because you were supposed to read a certain amount of books? And it was just like, it was, it was annoying all the time. It was so annoying trying to read it. So I would read like half the book quarter just so I could barely pass that AR test. So then I'd get the points to get like the min- the bare minimum. I would just meet the bare minimum. That's all I did. By the way, don't want to waste your time. So I got this here. During this time, he gave me that book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is by Robert Kiyosaki. Basically, the, it's a summary. I'll, I'm going to keep it short. But in summary, he basically had a, a rich dad and a poor dad, right? But it, it's not what you think. Because his rich dad was actually the dad who didn't seem very rich, right? Like he, he didn't have a uh, college degree. He didn't, he dropped out of school, like high school or something. He owned his own business and was like just working hard every day. Whereas his poor dad was what in society would seem as rich. He had a doctorate college degree. He um, did everything that he was supposed to. Did very well in school. He ended up, I think it was like a like a head of a school board or something. Um, was just very w- well off and had a good salary, had a good job, had good benefits, all the stuff. And this was his poor dad. See, the difference between these two was the fact that the rich dad worked for himself. He had his own business and he thought in assets and liabilities. Where his poor dad was just going through the motions, living by the day, paycheck to paycheck. Ultimately, that book, reading it, altered my perspective. It helped me like really understand, oh wait, this this is different. This is a different idea than I've had before. I wonder if there's more ideas that I can get from these books. And so in that, I started looking on YouTube. YouTube obviously was big when I was growing up. This is like 2017, so like Logan Paul, all those sort of like vlog guys. This is like FaZe Banks. I, I would watch all those guys, right? And during this time, I started getting into like real estate and finance and like self-improvement. So I started watching like Graham Stephan. There's a guy, Meet Kevin. All of these guys, I started to like understand and see Grant Cardone. I'm like, oh, what, what is this? You can, you can get knowledge on YouTube. And I started to become obsessed with it. And I started to build out straight. Heck, I made a drop. I literally started building Instagram pages Developed drop shipping stores on those Instagram pages and then would sell Instagram pages and try to profit off of now my the drop the drop shipping stores were crap. The Instagram pages didn't do very well either. Like I mean I gained a bunch of followers and stuff, but I didn't make much money or anything. It wasn't like life changing. But it just got me in this mode of like, oh, I like business. I like improving my like this is what I want to do. And so I started to become obsessed with knowledge. Self-improvement, building my brain, establishing my mind so then I can then alter my reality, my world around me. And this was at 17 years old. And I'm a very disciplined, very driven person. I've always have been. Uh, I've had a good backing with parents, family, loved ones. Like all of it's been very well. Over time, reading all these books, gathering this knowledge, doing all of these things, I realized that I wasn't getting much done. Because see, back in 2017, I made 
a plan. I said, when I go to college, I'm going to have enough money to be able to do whatever the hell I want to do in college. And don't get me wrong, like I, I was a lot, I wasn't living paycheck to paycheck in college. I saved up a bunch of money, a ton, I invested it, like I did a lot of good things to have like good solid money. And there were some things that I did, but it wasn't what I, what I planned for it to be. Like I didn't have a full business operating and running by that time. I didn't have, and, and, and when I went to college after it, I'm like, okay, when I get done with college, I'm going to be home free. This is my time to grind and get everything done. So when I'm out, then I don't have to do anything. That didn't happen. So what I realized is that me gathering knowledge, continuing to read books, watch videos, do different courses, gain knowledge in this thing, and then and then understand this, and then like just all of this gathering and gaining of new ideas. All that is is mental masturbation. See, because it feels good. It feels like I accomplished something. Every time I say like, yeah, I read that book. I, I, I've read that book. Like it makes me proud of myself. But did I really get anything done? Do I need more knowledge? Or instead, should I be acting? See, there's two types of people in this world. There are doers and there are talkers. It's a lot easier to talk than it is to do. A lot easier. I would say 99% of people on YouTube, like watching this video, are talkers and not doers. Now you look at guys like, let's say Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg. Well, those guys are doers. That's why they don't have a life. Because they just do the thing that needs to be done. They don't talk about doing the thing. No, they go and do it. They're not reading, gaining more knowledge on all these different topics so they can know so much about, uh, you know, the the moon landing and about space and about like, whatever, if they don't have a vested interest in it. When they're trying to build out businesses like Jeff Bezos, when he was trying to build out his Amazon um, company and everything, like he needed to know about books. Yeah. So he would have to like understand books and understand how to organize books and learn how to do that. Yeah. So you got, you need to understand systems, but that doesn't mean you need to understand about what a great white shark is doing out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Like, do, do we really need that knowledge? And so for me, I found this self-improvement journey that I've been on since 2017. That all I'm doing is really and ultimately spinning my wheels. It's great to gather new knowledge, know more things, be able to use that knowledge Um, to build yourself up, to build people around you up. Yes, it's all good and great. And in practice, like when you think about it, it's like, oh, like, yeah, I am, I am improving because my brain is the only asset that I truly have. My thoughts and ideas, those are the only things that I truly own. Everything else can be taken away from me. My brain, you can't take away from me. So it is, I'm building my brain up, right? But in practicality, in today's world, like this physical realm that we live in, are you really improving? If you're talking and thinking and gaining knowledge, are you doing the thing that needs to be done? Are you doing anything to move the needle in your life? I, I, I haven't been. And I'd venture to say that you're probably not either. That's how most of us live our days. Mental masturbation. 
not doing the thing that needs to be done, not taking action, but instead just thinking about taking action. Visualization. Thinking in my head, okay, if I do, you know, if, if this is done, okay, yeah, yeah okay, that will uh, no, go, 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 go out and experience life. I say all this stuff just to give you a different perspective. See, I'm making these YouTube videos and just being raw and real with you guys and the ideas that I come up with and that I think of and like, oh, you know, maybe this would help someone else out. Maybe this would help my prior self when I was on this journey in 2018 to hear this, this talk. Be like, oh, he's right. Probably do just need to do the, do the thing that needs to be done. I don't need to learn anymore. Like, ultimately, experience is the most knowledge that you can get. So go out and experience it. So I continue to make these videos and will continue to um, for a long time because uh, really I, I think I am making impact and hopefully I'm making impact on your life. So if you um, do enjoy these videos, please let me know why you enjoy them in the comment section below. Uh, if you don't enjoy them, let me know that as well. Um, a lot of you guys said I need to wear a shirt, so I put my uh, wife beater on. So uh, I do read the comments. Uh, otherwise, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm going to continue to be here and will always be because in the end, together we rise. See you later.